This is where we are today, guys. Got the handrails on. So the next steps today, what I want to do is take off the um, number board eyebrow assembly and replace it with this one. Sorry about the noise in the background. That's the uh, husband points being collected there. It's the uh, dishwasher going. <laughs> All right, take off the sill. We're gonna I'm actually going to remove all the wraps. Ever so ginger. Alright, leave the end ones on. Take off the cab. To the side. Alright. Okay, so we need to put this there. Alright, we're done. See, it balances perfect. Alright. And let me get my optimizer on so I can see what I'm doing. Now, the tricky part with removing this uh, number board assembly is we got these nice fine window, window gaskets all around these front windows. We don't want to obliterate with sanding or nipping or anything like that. So, so we're going to use our trusty nippers and get down as close as we dare um, to the front of this uh, cab face. It's tricky trying to do this on camera, but uh, just take your time. Now, I do have a backup Canon cab if I do mess this up, so I'm not too concerned. All right, that wasn't so bad. Let's see if I can get a little bit further with the nippers before I bring out my next cutting implement. Just work yourself around. There's no rush. It's a happy little gasket over there. You know, embrace your Bob, your Bob Ross, and just enjoy what you're doing. Lots of uh, trouble in the world these days, as per usual. And oops, see, wasn't too careful. I nicked the window window gasket. That won't be too noticeable when I uh, paint it, but it'll be all right. Gotta be careful, boys and girls. Just 
take it down as far as you dare. I'm putting a lot of force on the front of the shell, so I'm using my thumb on the inside to, to backstop it so it doesn't. Whew. This is a, gets the heart going a little bit. Okay. Ah, oh, nerve wracking. <laughs> All right. Next cutting implement, I want to use my modified chisel. Um, so I'm going to chisel close to this, well, it's already damaged, but this gasket area here. Um, one of my modeling mantras is do the hard stuff first. I don't say stuff, I say another S word. And this is one of those hard things when you're right by the window window gasket. You gotta be super careful. This part here is difficult. There you go. Right, this little kind of under bulge. This is tricky. So I'm rotating my chisel left and right. Try not to touch the um, window gasket and I pull up. See what that did there? Get it. So again, get really close to the window gasket. Rotate. Pull up. See that? So looking at it, I think I almost went too far with it, but really close. All right, so we can go ahead and remove this part now. All right, okay. Now we're going to bring out the big guns. It's to me a tape. I use this to help protect the window gasket. Just laying it across just the top of the window gaskets there. Alright. Always like to double it up. And then we're going to protect um, both sides. As you can see, on the, uh, the driver's window, you can see just a hair of the window gasket right there. So we're going to protect up and down with two layers of tape each. Like this. One. And two. If anyone's got a better, better method, let me know, because this is what I've come up with. Remember, there's always uh, someone with another idea that will work. So I got a coarse nail file, and we're going to 
So we're aiming on the top here. We got this uh, little bit of uh, uh, what do you call that? Like a seam detail. This, these are the two holes that the Cato uh, a horn would have mounted. So we're going to take it all the way back to that detail. It's going to be straight across. We'll take our time. Nail file will do quick work of this plastic, but uh, Okay, I'm gonna pull the tape off. You can see there's a little bit of a ridge here. I'm gonna take my chisel very carefully, get in there. I don't want to go too far. Okay, so like maybe I can show you focusing if we turn it sideways flat good all right and we take our rigs part Let's see how it fits Let's see on the roof it's in camera frame it's pretty well on the front pretty well just going to clean it up a bit the underside has got a little bit of remnants of how it was mounted to the sprue, so we're just going to knock that off. And then, of course, this will be an outside finish piece. I'm going to really fine nail file here and just make sure it's pretty. I'll take a soft toothbrush. Clean it off. Top looks great. I'm gonna fix it on now. So, what am I gonna do? Now, on the older Cato SD40s, these number boards are open. So, you apply, you can apply the um, number board to the front, like that, and then 
glue from behind, but that's not possible here. Let's go straight ahead. Straight ahead and do her. Let's see. There we are. It's pretty well centered. Right there. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. It's off by just a hair, but again, how does it look? Uh, you know what, it's close enough for me. So I'm going to take this seam between the number board and here. I'm going to knock it off. I'll see why in a second. front. I'm going to use some 10 by 20. Uh, exacto. Take what I need. More than I need. I need my Tamiya cement right here. I'm going to cut a piece to fit. So we're, we're replacing this seam. Right there. Ha! First try. Just like that. That's a bit too long. Okay. Cut it down just a hair. Steam is back on the roof. Alright, so it looks like from the front. Or more better. Alright, next bit to put on is the bell. So this is from the brake screw. I'm going to use the MD bell. Okay. There are five lugs on the back of this. Make sure you don't cut off the uh, center one. We're going to use that for mounting. And, yeah, 
flush nipper is better for this. So I left the the center one. Come on, focus. For mounting, take a chisel blade and remove what's left of the four outer ones what is that? it's clean take more off of the uh, mounting lub mounting lub is there for a guide Dauber CA on the back. Oh. You only have a about a half a second to get this straight, so try to do your best. The first time. second thought I think I'm going to file the back off it's not sitting as flush as I would like it to so just remove the CA with your fingers and take a nice flat file let's get that flat just wasn't sitting where I wanted it to so You hear that whirring in the background, that's husband points. All right, make sure it's going to fit. No, I got to file more from the top. doing this you won't be making a video on how long it takes and how finicky it is. What I'm gonna do because I can just bear with me. Because this is a one shot deal, I think I'm gonna peg it in place. So Make a hole with my, my Dremel. It's a 79 bit. show up on camera but there's still there's a dot where the where the mounting post used to be that'll be the whole middle of the uh, bell my focus there it is okay 15 thou wire Bit of it. 
I'll make sure it fits first. It should. Oh, yeah. We've still touched it. CA on it. Put it in hole. straight up and down left and right take that extra CA and push it off to the sides get rid of that trim it down Put it in. That's better. So pull it out. Touch the CA. It's a quite a nice fit actually. You really don't need to cement it on. Looking at all different angles. There we go. Ding a ling. Clang, clang, clang with the diesel. All right. We need a horn. Ah, here's my, here's my Eric box. I still like the Eric bits, even though some of them are oversized, but it doesn't matter to me. Uh, rocks, pilots. Marsha likes, go. Ah, go this way here. There's one. Take it. Very gingerly, take the horn out of its bag and clean up. There's a flash and whatnot all over this casting. You know, it's, it's okay. It's uh, something that can be cleaned up. You can use any horn you want. You know, lots of companies make this uh, the K3L. Uh, Day. I'm not building a contest quality model. This is a runner. This serves as one of my half of a pusher unit. It goes up from Revelstoke to Glacier. So, not looking to win any awards, but uh, I do like having something that's a little more prototypical than what's being offered. So, some effort and some time. It all uh, gets done. And I've been going back and forth, you know, should I show you guys how I do all my painting? And I think, you know what, I will. I think I'll take the time and do my painting and show you how I make my decals and I don't make the decals, how I apply the decals. Alright, where is these pliers? This allows me to straighten up the casting. These pliers here, they got, uh, what shows up in camera. It's got a T ridge in there, so you can file that in. Or These were um, 
spiking pliers. They don't make them anymore. Yeah, but it's really good for holding stuff because it's got that groove in there. Okay. So I want to mark. I need to put my horn. So my horn is centered on the body, which puts it right. Check my mark. Right there. All right. I'm going to put a pilot hole. That looks pretty good. Find a drill that's appropriate for this uh, casting. Work. These are, this isn't an um, Amazon drill bit. It comes with the drill bits and the set. The drill bits are terrible, but there it goes. No, not big enough. Let's work it a bit. That's where he will sit. So a little bit of CA and then we'll plop him down. Line them up. Ah. And the last piece that goes on the cab is the Sinclair. And I had one pulled out. Here's the, the Briggs Sinclair. It's super fine. So you got three mounting pegs. So I'm going to pull off the outside two with my flush nippers. In the middle one, I'm just going to cut, leave myself just a little bit of a bit of a nubby to work with. Very carefully, these are super fine. Take off the, uh, the flash from the uh, connection. There. Now he goes. Let me let me get my other SD40 to show you where. So I grabbed the other SD40 that I made. You can see where the horn is. Sinclair's off center, left to right, or top to bottom, I guess on your screen, and then centered on the cap. Okay. Okay, so center of the cab is right around there. So we want boat there looks to be a good spot start with the pilot hole I'm just gonna just open this one up and Super tiny, super fragile. It's going to fit. No. Let's open it up just a little bit more.
There, that's where he will live. So we'll put a little dab of CA on the peg. Stick him in the hole. Make sure he's straight. So there we are. That's it for the cab detail. In the next video, I will. Oh, I want to talk about one little thing here is this rain gutter, right? Up on the early units, up to 5532, I want to say. This had a V shape to it, like this. The gutter had a, a V shape to the top. And on the second order of SD40s, they were straight across. So we don't have to modify that. So there you are. That's, to me, um, removing that light board. Here's a remnant of it. Um, the number board, sorry, is the most nerve-wracking part of the build. So once that's done, you know, modifying, you know, the nose, the... Um, uh, sorry, the nose, the brake wheel, and the back. That's, that's all pretty straightforward. So that's it for this video. Cheers.